Greetings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Good morning. Hello. Good day to you. Are we are we here? Are we here? Yes, we are here. All right. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's another beautiful day. We're going to continue to make it happen in Continue to make it happen in a meaningful way. Welcome to Elite. To the to check this out with Elite. <laughs> check this out. Check this out. Check this out. It's another beautiful day. The sun is shining so bright. Whoo, that excites me. I ooh, when I when I when I get up and you know step out, get that fresh air, fresh crisp cold air, especially. See that sun shining. Don't, don't see them clouds in the way. What? That lets me know we are we on our way today. We are on our way. Now, the sun shines every day, every cycle it comes around. But sometimes the overcast gets in the way. Sometimes the clouds, you know, blocks that that crisp shine. But the sun still continues to shine. But ain't nothing like a fresh, crispy, shining sun hitting. And the, and the snow is on the ground, too. Everything bright. So I'm trying to make sure my lights stay bright. Everything bright. Bang. What? It's another one though. So, 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 let's get into it and let's do it. You know, we've been talking about um, the breakdown, the, bro the broken place. And then once we're broken, we, we are, we are, uh, once we're broken, B-R-O-K-E-N. Then we're broke in, B-R-O-K-E dash I-N, in order so we can break through. And on this on this portion on today, we're going to talk about us breaking out. <laughs> us breaking out. And what are we what are we breaking out from? We're breaking out from that shell that we have broken through. We're breaking out from that shell that we have broken through. We have broken through the shell. We have we have we have arrived at the broken place. What's up, Granny? How you doing this morning, little dude? Beautiful. Glad you in the building. We in here. We have arrived at the broken place. We have been broken. Now we're broke in. Now we break through in order for us to break out. And what are we? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> my, 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 excuse me, got my water. Yeah, I gotta get me some some hot tea. I got the cold tea. I gotta get some hot tea in the morning. But we're breaking through in order to break out. What are we breaking out of? What what is what is the shell, if you will, that has has um, that we've broken? Um, or that we have been that has br been broken down around us or within us. It it points to us acknowledging that we um, uh, that we are uh, submitting, submitting, submitting ourselves to to the purpose, submitting ourselves to the connection, submitting ourselves to um, the centering, if you will, of God's love, not only God's love and his purpose for us, but us, us breaking out of the mindset that we can do it ourselves on our own. We can, we can, what we believe should happen is, is under our control and we're breaking out of that. From from the break from the broken place to us being broken and then broken in and then breaking through in order in order for us to break out of our own selfishness and allowing ourselves to become centered in God's love through the mindset of Christ, which centers us and connects us back with communion with God and communion with the understanding and communion with peace and communion with love and, and, and fellowship with his grace and fellowship with understanding beyond our own selfish 
understanding. Woo, 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 woo. So we're breaking out of the, the, the inward selfish, you know, I have it all. We're breaking out of that. You know, we've been broken down. We, 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 we enter a broken place. And when, when you become broken, you have these high expectations. We went through it. We, you have the high expectations. We believe in what we think should happen. We have a viewpoint and, and a plan on how we think things should go. But ultimately, we have to submit ourselves to the purpose in which we are here and be, be centered in not only God's love, but, 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 but the love of Christ that he has given us to reconnect us. What's happening, Pastor Daphne? Good morning. What's going on? You in the building. And, and, and it is a process. It is a process. But ultimately, once we break through, we're breaking through the barrier of our own understanding. And we're breaking out of the illness and the sickness, if you will, of our own selfishness and us being in our own way. Good morning, sis. What's happening? Hey, 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 listen. Hey, you didn't li listen. You didn't broke out. You talking about you at work. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot, making it happen in a meaningful way. So we, you didn't broke through. Now you didn't broke out to the, to your, to your, to your destiny, if you will. We, we are breaking through uh, the barriers that we place in front of ourselves. We're breaking through the disappointment. We're breaking through the the hurt. We're breaking through. What's up, Sister Shining? What's going on? What's up, what's going on, Cuzzo? How you doing? Be transformed to thinking. Come on, you ahead of me. You already on top of this thing. We're we're breaking through that selfishness, those desires, those hurts, those pains. And what's hey, how you doing, Sister Liz? Good good morning, Prophetess Liz. How you doing? You in the building. And we're breaking out. We're breaking out from all of those things that were within our mindset that you talked about, Sister Shiny, that we 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 are developing an understanding to be centered in the love of God, which is the peace of Christ and the connection that he provides through salvation, redemption and restoration. And once we break out, break out, we're breaking out as 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 the sun, when it hits over the horizon, it just hits everything. It hits everything. And it and it and, and for lack of a better, better term, the, the 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 shine of the sun, it breaks through like I was saying before, it breaks through even the clouds. You know, it, it, it lights up everything. It lights up everything. And for us, for us to understand that our selfish desires, our selfish nature, the things that we want, those things do not matter until we understand because because God is always going to give us the desires of our hearts, but we must submit to his will, submit to his purpose and delight in his ways, his ways, not our ways. It is it is us having the ability and us knowing we have an ability and us depending on that ability until we recognize that we must be connected to the source that created these abilities. We hold fast and hold on and hold true to our selfishness. We hold fast, hold on and hold true to our wants and own desires selfishly. We hold fast and hold true to the insecurities, the doubts, the fears, the pains, the hurts, the wants. We, we we hold fast and hold true to all of those things selfishly versus us holding fast and holding true to the purpose that God has established within us. And the purpose that is within us is activated when we allow Christ <laughs> to shine within us because we've been broken. We've been broken. And with us being broken, things can enter. And once it enters, it activates us so we can break through and break out. We can break through and break out and become the new creature, become the new creature. It says, like you said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So let this mindset overthrow or let the mindset of that I had before 
be overthrown and broken. Let this mindset be destroyed. Let this mindset be uh, 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 crashed and and disassembled and allow this mind, the new mind, which is of Christ to be into me, to allow me to break through the previous mindset. But it, in order to be, to break through the previous mindset, it must be broken down. And once it's broken down and I recognize that you know, once I recognize that I only have one decision and that is to choose to 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 submit myself accordingly. You have a decision to submit yourself accordingly. We have a decision to choose to commit ourselves, uh, submit ourselves accordingly. <laughs> we 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 activate something that has already been there. It has been there waiting for us to submit and to receive, and we're able to break out. <laughs> we're able to break out. Break out of depression. Break out of the the uh, the the chasing of uh, the chasing of approval from others. To to break out of. Um, to break out of the mindset that I am less than, to break out of the understanding um, that I am unworthy. No, no, to break out of the mindset that has me thinking that I myself, if I don't do it, it won't happen. We, that is, it is broken down. We break through and we break out into the glorious uh, uh, manifestation of God's love. And, it, and, and and once we once we remove ourselves from that shell of doubt, that shell of fear, that shell of of discouragement, and all of the things that the powers and principalities, <laughs> the spiritual, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the the spiritual pulling down, if you will, you know, from all of these. All of these different things that that are tugging at us and pulling at us and looking to control and manipulate our our purpose and, and the purpose that we have been given and the choice that we have. It is looking to manipulate. And so our minds are corrupted through all of these things. That's why we wrestle not against flesh and blood because it is not based on what we have within us. It is based on what we submit to that activates what's, what, what is within us to allow us to be more than a conqueror. <laughs> See, we believe that we can turn God on and turn God off when we don't recognize that God is always on and never off. And we get in our own way and say, well, God, until you do this or until you do that, I'm going to do what I want to do. And then we become broken down and recognizing and realizing that what I want to do, I, I haven't gotten anywhere. Everything that I have gone through, everything that I have sacrificed, everything that I've put my energy into, everything that I have connected myself to strategically in terms of my planning, in terms of what I want to happen, in terms of what I desire to happen, it, it doesn't fall through or fall on the place that I have planned it to fall on because I recognize that it's not about me. It's not about my might nor my strength. It's not about any of these things that I have, you know, tangibly within me because I hold on to those things because that's what I see that I have. And I see others doing it and I see others going through it. And then I realize and recognize that I am missing something. <laughs> I am missing. Some what am I missing? I'm missing God's love, his peace and his joy. I'm missing the fellowship with him with it. From the physical realm into the spiritual realm as it was before in the garden before the fall of man. I am missing the communication and the fellowship and the and the uninterrupted uh, uh, connection with salvation or excuse me with, with, with God's love. I am missing something. And if you think about it, you I've done this too. What am I missing? What am I not doing? I'm not recognizing 
what is truly within me. I am only depending on the ability or the, the natural inclination that I have, I have a, a mind and I can choose. And I'm depending on that alone, alone, alone. And that alone does not get me anywhere. It doesn't. But with that power of choice and with the mind that I have and ability to to process things, one thing I, I, I purpose to do with that mind and that power of choice is to submit. Submit. To submit. Got you. Block. To submit. To submit. Uh, that's it. Submission is my key to freedom. Submission is my key to peace. Submission is my key to purpose. Submission is my key to 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 uh, to not allow myself to be uh, um, to to stay in that brokenness. Submission. Mm -mm. Submission. And I and, and once I submit myself according to the purpose that has been established within me, I am not only allowing my purpose to shine out and to break out, but I'm letting, I'm allowing Christ, which is in the center of me and now in the, the, the center of my thinking, in my perspective to break out as well. <laughs> you dig? I'm, I'm allowing the love, the unconditional love to, to break out and to fall over into, in, into not only my life, but into my existence. Into everything that I'm connected to and everything that I think, everything that I feel, every fiber of my being. I am breaking out of what I was. I'm breaking out of what was holding me back. I am breaking out of what I thought I should do and what I thought I should believe and how I thought I should be. I am breaking out of immaturity. I am breaking out of an incomplete mindset. I am breaking out of selfishness. I am breaking out of all of these things because... With those mindsets, those powers and principalities, those spirits and lowly places are looking to dominate us in such a way that will remove us from our submission and our will to commit ourselves to the purpose that is already intended for God's plan. But in order for us to be able to submit, we must recognize that it's not about us. It is about the purpose, which is it. And the powers and principalities, they are looking to rule in, in us to allow us to submit, to throw us away instead of us throwing ourselves at the mercy of God. If you ever understood, if you ever wondered, why did you, you would be having a good day. <laughs> You'd be doing good and then something just pops in your mind. And you'll say, where did that come from? It came from a principality. It came from uh, the, the wicked areas, the dark areas, the areas that we cannot see, the areas that are designed to destroy us if we allow it to, if we do not submit. Where did that thinking come from? Why did I, why did I feel a dark cloud come over me? I woke up, like I said, the sun is shining. I got dressed, got the kids together, kissed the husband, kissed the wife, went on to work. The day was going great. And I was driving in my car, just went to the gas station, got my little coffee, my little juice, my little stuff. And then something all of a sudden came over me and I felt like I was just, I, I, I felt like I, I, I was overtaken in some way. What happened? I don't get it. What's going on? The corrupt nature of the principalities are looking to overthrow that flow of goodness. And if I am not centered, rooted, and grounded in the love of my purpose through God and also through accepting what Christ has given me, those, those feelings that come over us suddenly that look to interrupt that flow that we have, that, you know, that good spirit, good nature, good will, it's all good. It is looking to control us into a, to a place that does not want us to submit accordingly to what God has already purposed. And so if I am flesh, if I'm wrestling with my flesh, 
and not recognizing that there are spiritual things in the atmosphere that are looking to dominate me, then I will. I, I need to understand that uh, if I don't recognize that, and I'm and I'm wrestling with my flesh, and I don't recognize that, and I'm wrestling with my flesh. If I don't recognize it, that very lack of recognition is what allows me to become broken. <laughs> I become broken, broken all the way down. And then I, I, I arrive to the broken place. I'm broken all the way down and I'm broken in. And then either in the, when I'm broken in and I become, you know, I just become overtaken by the feeling, overtaken by the emotion, overtaken by the thought, overtaken by what it is that I feel I shouldn't be feeling. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking naturally, no, it's, it's my mind or it's my body. Oh, I got to take, you know, I got to do something to, to give me this temporary boost versus me saying, God, let your will be done. God, allow, God, allow your will to be done. Lord, allow your will to be done. Submission. Mm -mm -mm. And when I allow myself to submit to what God has purposed within me and I allow myself to receive what Christ, what Christ has for me to activate within me, the new mind cannot be established and not be accepted unless I receive. Unless you receive and unless we receive. How do we receive? Through the choice and through the decision. Mm -mm -mm. Through the choice and through the decision. <laughs> you, you, I, us, we, we are all um, on the same playing field, if you will. We all have purpose. We all understand that there's something better, something more, something greater that is waiting for us. And we look everywhere to try to find it when God is saying, you got to look within. <laughs> look inside because he said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Good morning, mama. How you doing, mom? Yeah, you in the building. So everything that you need is already there. You just need to submit yourself. We just need to submit ourselves in order to activate <laughs> what is already there. <laughs> it is already there. It is within us. The code to our freedom is in us. The key to our purpose is within us. And once we recognize, after we've been broken, after we we have been we our our big a uh, uh, giant pillar, you know how we get on our high horse, our high horse has been chopped from under us and we fall back down to the understanding of what do I need to do? And we realize I need to make a decision. I need to make a decision. And once we make that decision <laughs> and we truly submit, then we start to recognize that we, we, it's not about what we want, but it's about what we're purposed to do. And I say, Lord, whatever you have for me, p p please, 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 please give it to me. Because everything that I've done to give to myself with good intentions, with, you know, with a good expectation, in terms of my deeds, in terms of my actions and planning have allowed me to fall short. You've been in that place. I'm talking about that broken place where, we, where you where you say, when, when you say and I say, God, if you don't do it, <laughs> God, if you don't do it, <laughs> it ain't going to be done versus before. You know what? I'm I'm a, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I got it. You know how we do. I got it. No, I'm, I got it. I got it. I got this. No, uh, -uh no, this ain't going to beat me and all that talk we be talking. This ain't going to beat me. And please don't get me confused with us uh, being um, persistent and consistent in us, um, you know, pursuing righteousness. But but a lot of times we're we intend on pursuing righteousness with our own selfish mentality. That's why we must. 
allow this mind, you know what I'm saying, to be renewed. And in our, in our selfish attempts to try to reach God from where we are without activating the power that already has been established to connect with him without us doing all of these things to try to reach him. He's saying, I'm already in you. You just need to allow you just need to allow the connection to be activated. <laughs> we are looking for all of this stuff. Chasing all of these things, believing in our heart that if we if we do these things and we get this stuff that that we can somehow establish a connection <laughs> that 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 we have. We don't have the physical, physical power to establish the, the part that's missing is the spiritual See, we have the physical abilities, but we don't have the physical power. We have the physical ability to connect with the spiritual power together that activates the, the whole purpose to allow us to connect, to commune, to fellowship, and to be in right standings with God through our centered mentality, through submission, in us receiving what Christ has for us. Some people that may be watching this may say, well, how, if I don't know who Christ is, how can I receive someone or something that I don't know? Good. I'm glad that you think that because I want to help, help you with something. Christ, what Christ has for us and what, what Christ came with is a mentality. What Christ allows us, how Christ cleanses us through the blood, the blood represents the inward structuring DNA, the example of understanding that our DNA, the, 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 the very essence of our being to be transformed and, and not only to be transformed, but to be renewed. It is, he gives us a mentality to, to operate it in. He's let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So it is, it's not so much of us memorizing scripture. No, it's, it's, it's about us submitting to the will of what the principles hold in Christ's hand. And he is saying, take this, receive this and allow this to activate you. He, he's letting us know. He's, he's saying, he's, he's saying, listen, take what I have. Listen to me. Take this mind that I have. I am here to do my father's will. <laughs> my father's will. And I'm submitting to my father's will. When he was tempted, you know, by the devil, he's saying it is written. It's not about what I want. It's about what is written. And what he means about it being what is what is written, he's talking about the principles of understanding and receiving what God has already placed in him versus him looking to to take what, what was being offered to him externally by the enemy. And he is saying, he's saying to us, come on, let this let let this understanding, let these principles, let this submission, let this purpose and let this love, let this peace, let this joy, let this forgiveness be in you. Mm, 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 mm. That's why it says I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Why is it that I can do all things through Christ? Because if, if I try to do all things through myself, I... Uh, 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 uh. But if I do all things through Christ, I'm doing it through the mindset of salvation, through the mindset of redemption, through the mindset of restoration, through the mindset of unconditional love. <laughs> I'm doing it through the mindset. And his mindset not only speaks to my spiritual illness, but it also speaks 
to my, no, excuse me, my physical illness. It, it, it doesn't only speak to my physical illness, but it speaks to my spiritual abilities to be healed physically. My, my, my spiritual ability to connect physically with my spiritual abilities to be fully, fully one with him. One God, one spirit, one faith under one baptism, submerging myself in all of the things that are good according to God's glorious will, spirit and nature. I am becoming one and whole and complete and reestablished. And once I become whole and be complete and reestablished, I am born again. <laughs> I am born again. Again, born again, whoo wee, woo wee, man, born again. What do you mean to be born again? Because my thoughts are renewed, my connection is renewed, my spirit is activated, and it has come into a union with my physical attributes. And now my physical attributes have 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 um, been activated, and now that they now that they're activated, they're able to utilize the excuse me, they're able to utilize the spiritual benefits. So so I see now I understand. Now I understand. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to your." own understanding but in all of your ways acknowledge him and so we take that and we hold it and we hold it hostage and we we capture that trust in the lord with all your heart we'll take that and hold it hostage according to our selfishness lean not to your own understanding we believe that okay i understand that i must trust in the lord with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding and acknowledge him so i'm going to take what i want and I'm going to acknowledge him versus acknowledging him in all of our ways, every way, because we are we are right now. We are frail in, uh, beings and the illness of sin will continue to override our purpose if we do not submit and commit ourselves through that trust. With all of our heart, with all of our heart and understanding, with all of our heart and ability, with all of our purpose and actions. If we do not submit ourselves and commit ourselves to that love, to that peace, to that joy, to, to that everlasting grace that God has established through his mercy. We, if we don't commit ourselves, we, we won't be able to acknowledge him in all our ways and lean not to our own understanding. And turn away from that wickedness that we 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 we, we battle. We battle. The, how you want to know how these desires in us come to us and somehow they just overtake us because we're trusting in our own self and we're leaning to our own understanding and and in some ways we acknowledge ourselves instead of Him. But when when a desire pops up and I am trusting in Him, the desire has no room to be anywhere. <laughs> the desire has no room because if I'm trusting in him, he dwells in me. The mind of, of Christ is within me and Christ has been has been given the activation codes to reestablish the connection between me and God through his spirit. Then I have no room to fulfill the lust of those desires of my flesh that I so before love to do. So now I recognize that, OK, this is what I need to do. I need to break out of this through me being broken down from this so I can be restored, renewed and reborn so I can, you know, go right to the purpose, to the source of my purpose, to the source of my destiny, to the source of my being. And if you know, you know, and if you know, you know, and if you don't know, keep living. See, this is and this is the thing. For us to break out, we need to break out of making it seem as if we know it all. We don't. And, and we, we, we make it seem as we as we know it all to the degree that where individuals don't know. They see how we move and flow. And they say, ain't no sense of me doing that. Ain't no sense of me committing to that. 
You say you you say you love God. You say you you are a believer, but yet and still you you're operating with the mindset that I have and I don't even know who God is and I'm not a believer. I don't even know who God is and I'm not a believer. Versus us doing what God has established us to do and to to love not only ourselves but unconditioning all and to allow the power that is in us through the, us being centered in Christ and us being centered in purpose and us being centered in submission and saying, you know what, no matter what, in, in spite of, I still love you. I am still here for you. In here, in my selfishness, honestly, I wouldn't do it for you. But because I am submitted <laughs> and my mind is recommitted, it is not me that is doing it. It is he who is in me that is doing it. <laughs> and they'll see and they'll say, dang, so wait a minute. And so instead of me saying, oh, you need to do this and you need to do this and you, you're going to hell and, and you don't know scripture. You don't know how to pray. You ain't connected. You're evil. I can't connect with you. Oh, pray, pray, pray against them and all of this stuff. We need to embrace them with love because we are centered. We are committed. We are submitted and we are protected through the reconnection of him through not only my physical being, but my spiritual being. And once that is bonded together, <laughs> Nothing can stop it. Nothing can reach it. Nothing can touch it. I am fully under, under the protection of God's mercy, his will, his nature, his grace, his love. And I am fully captured according to my purpose. So once I do that, I say, you know what? It's not about me. It's about the purpose that is within me. And, and I'm not about to look at you because this is what we do. We look and we pick. We pick and we look. We look and we pick and we pick and we look. And we say, oh, I'm doing God's will. <laughs> I'm doing God's will. I got to let them know they're going to go to hell if they don't. Wait, stop. Whoa, wait a minute. T time out now. Time out. Time out. Time out. Wait a minute. We, we, we need to be the examples. Right? We, we need to allow not only us to break out, but Christ to break out of us, his love to break out of us, God's peace to break out of us and to shine into areas that are dark and to, and to be the light. In order for me to be the light, I must be able to shine air, light into areas. In order for me to be the light, I must submit. In order to shine light into the dark areas. And when I shine light, it is not, and I'm not shining the light just to say, here it is. And if you don't do what God say do, I'm taking the light away. No, I'm shining light so they can see. And a lot of times we don't allow that light to shine because we're in the way. If you've ever been in the way of a light, you cast the shadow. The shadow of the shadow of you is in the way of the light that God is looking to shine through you. And, and because of this, it is missing people because they're unable to see the full ray and feel the full ray of the light. But if you're living your life, your lifestyle is submitted to what God has established and you have the mindset of Christ. You will be as Jesus is. You will go to the, the you will go to the very people that everybody says you're not supposed to go to. You will deal with the very people that everybody says you're not supposed to deal with. These are the people that are dangerous or these are the people that are evil. These are the people that are demonic. These are the people that are disconnected. These are the people that are selfish and all of these things. And we don't do that. We stay over here in this little corner. <laughs> and Christ said, no, 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 no. Let's go on this boat over to the other side to, you know, on this other side to where the Gentiles are. The individuals that were considered to be unwhole, unrighteous, and to be almost cursed, if you will. And that's just my, my wording. But Christ said, no, we are, we are here to shine a light to help them. We are not here to, to, to talk about what's right and what's wrong. We're here to talk about what God has established in his creation as a whole. So I'm on this side and you on that side and I'm better than you because I know God and you don't. And because you don't follow as I follow, then 
Hmm. No, 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 no. Break, be, break that down. Break that mindset down. Open your understanding. Take that off and allow the, the, the mindset of Christ to be on you. So you can, so you can minister <laughs> through not only your words, but your lifestyle. <laughs> you did. But in order for us to get to that point, we have to go through a purging, a breaking, a, a, you know, a, a cleansing. And we become broken down and we recognize, man, I got to get out of my own way. And I must do what I'm purposed to do. And we go through those processes. And once we get over ourselves and over our own understandings and wants and desires and we, and we come to the crossroad and we recognize we must submit in a meaningful way. And we do that. We activate the very thing that's in us. That's right, Granny. We got to look in the mirror to see it clear and say, you know what? This is what I'm, you know, I'm purposed to do. I'm purposed to do something. God knows. He knows. <laughs> and I'm and I'm and I and I'm looking for all of these other things instead of looking within. How do I look within? Like you said, I look through that mirror or I, I look through that mirror of understanding according to to what I have. And I say, you know what? I need to submit myself. I need to do what I'm afraid to do. And that's all it is. We're, we're afraid to submit ourselves. We're afraid of letting go. We're afraid that, you know, of of allowing, you know, what is supposed to happen to happen. We're we're so afraid. We're so afraid. There are people now that that are looking for God's love. They're looking for God's peace more than ever before, but they're afraid to submit because of what they see us as believers do to ourselves and each other. And they're like, well, if y'all doing that, then, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm going to do. So they don't want to profess what we profess and they don't want to speak what we speak. So that instead of them saying God and Jesus, they'll go to Allah, they'll go to Buddha, they'll say whoever, whatever, however, please touch and help me because I need it. And we have a responsibility because we, 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 we get caught up in our own selves. And so we're looking to not only break through, but break out of that as well. So we can not only break through to our purpose, break out of, of, of our doubts, but we need to break, break out of our old ways and break through to the individuals that are seeking salvation, but they don't have the, the means of understanding to articulate that that's what they're seeking. They sometimes they just say, I'm seeking something. I'm looking for something. I need something. I need a change. I need something. I need, I, I need, I just need something. I need a miracle. <laughs> I need something. And I don't know where, I don't know how to get to it. I don't know how to access it. And, 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 and that individual, they probably work next to you. They, they, you probably see them every day. And you say you're a representative and they're unable to see that what's in your lifestyle is is confirmation to what they're seeking because you're in the way or I'm in the way. <laughs> it is it is it is a mindset. It is it is it is a, is a full mindset to connect to his, to his will according to his purpose through his spirit. And we all we all understand the functions of mentality, you know, we all understand, we know what we're doing. We know what's going on. We, un we you know, we get it. We, we, we may not have the full picture, but we understand the functionality in terms of thinking and in terms of, you know, our being. <clears throat> As a man thinketh. <laughs> We 
we understand. We understand. That's why that's why God allowed us to, to that that's why excuse me, that's why Jesus came to to provide parables to to give us pure examples to help us understand. And then the Bible speaks about mysteries. Mysteries being revealed to us. It being revealed to us. So if there's a mystery and, and he is providing us with an example and it is, it is an, usually a physical example that we can relate to and understand. We must look in between the lines in order to for us to be for in order for the mystery to be revealed to us. There's a purpose for that. There's a purpose for that. So the purpose for the mystery is for us to actually do the work. For us to do the work through our submission, through our choice, through our abilities. So he can connect to us and speak through us the way he's purposed from the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But when we get broken down, you know how we get in that broken place? Think about it. Think whenever you've been broken down, if you ha if you've ever been broken down, like I when I recognize I'm I'm all the way broken. How did I get here? My selfishness. How did I get here? My own might, my own will, my own desires, my own greed, my what I want. And I recognize what broke me is that I, I can't get to what I want, when I want it, where I want it, how I want it, in what shape, what fashion, what form, what level, and all of these things. I can't get to it. And I'm disappointed. I'm angry. You know that, you know that, you know how we say, why it's supposed to work. This is what it's supposed to be. And it's not. Because I want to be filled. I want to be whole. You know, I, 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 I want to be pure. I, I want it. Just like every individual wants it. We yearn it. We yearn to be whole. And we go out in our own manner and in our own way, attempting to fulfill the, the emptiness that's within us or attempting to cure the sickness that's within us, attempting to give the antidote to the illness that's within us. And we believe that all of these things will heal us, will cure us and will make us whole. And then we find out that we've fallen short. I, I got all the stuff. I'm still empty. I got, I'm connected with all the relationships. I'm still empty. I got all the money. I'm still empty. I have all the attention. I have all the fame. I have all the notoriety. Still empty. I thought this was going to do. It didn't do. And once we recognize that it didn't work, it breaks us. <laughs> Ooh. It tears us up, boy. It tears us up. It tears us up. You feel me? What? It breaks us down, boy. It breaks us down. And some of us are mad at God because we had our own personal desires and we're mad at God because we said, well, God, I came to you and you said you was going to bless me and you didn't bless me. And I'm mad at you because because you were selfish. You was thinking about you. You can't activate what God has for you when you won't submit to what he has put in you. But we get mad. God, there is no God. And it's, you know how people do. We, we get mad. We get frustrated. We get in our own feelings. And God and this. And, and we, <laughs> we, we have what it takes. We just got to take what we have <laughs> to activate it. And what we have is the power of choice. He said free will. Free will. Free will. You, 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 you can choose. Just choose ye this day. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't serve two masters. You want to be the master when there's a master. 
You want to be the leader when there's already a leader. You want to be the one that comes up with an idea when the idea has already been come up with by... <laughs> You want it. You want it to be about you. You too busy watching Kobe or LeBron or whoever it is that you watch, Beyonce, whoever. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know their name. I don't know who it is that you look at, and you want to be like them because you believe that they have reached it. When honestly, it is God who has given it to everybody. And that person that you look at and you like, I'm going to be like them. I'm going to be like them. And I'm going to do like them. And, and you, don't even real, you don't even realize and recognize what's really going on. And you can't serve two. You got to choose. Which one you going to be with? <laughs> Which one you going to submit to? Because when you submit to yourself, they say, when you, when you, they, you, you, you can either choose, choose God or you can choose the devil. <laughs> you, can, you, you can choose God or you can choose your selfishness. You can choose God or you can choose money. You can choose God or you can choose, but you, but you got to choose something. And once you choose and you get mad at the end results because they don't measure up, <laughs> that will break you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I made all these sacrifices. I've committed myself. I have, you know, I've done everything and I still have not reached it. I still have not, I still have not uh, touched it. All this stuff, I thought it was going, I thought it was going to be, I thought, I thought it was going to be, you, you, you know, ever thought that you, man, when I get there, we got plans and this is going to be all, oh, man, this is going to be it. And you get there and you look around and be like, dang, this is not what I thought it was going to be. What am, what am I doing here? And you keep doing that over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to break out of it. Break Once we're breaking through, then we break out. And we're breaking out according to, we're breaking out our purpose. You understand? And we're breaking out our understanding to submit ourselves. How do I submit myself? How do I commit myself? You submit yourself with your choice. Because a lot of the times our choices are dictated upon social standings and popular culture and excuse me what people want what people think how people feel and all of this stuff in order for us to be accepted my choice that i want all this stuff to be fulfilled and what fulfills me is not only be feeling like i have all this stuff but me being accepted i just want people to love me i just want people to accept me i just want to be understood <laughs> I just want to have peace. I just want to have joy. I just want to have happiness. I just want what's best for me. You don't know what's best for me. Okay, you'll tell somebody that. We'll tell somebody that. You don't know what's best for me, but guess what? We still don't know what's best for ourselves. We still don't know what's best for ourselves. You don't know what's best for me. We'll tell somebody, you don't got the answers. Like Kanye say, you don't got the answers, Sway. How, Sway? You don't know. How, Sway? You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that under individual may not know what they're talking about, but we don't even know what we're talking about either. We just we just shooting in the dark, hoping we hit the hit the mark. Just shooting in the dark. Just uh, hopefully we hit it. Hopefully we hit it. Hopefully we hit it. Versus I'm submitted committed and I have faith and I believe and I hope I believe and I have faith and I know Pow. not only am I going to hit it but I'm going to hit it in the bulls like how is that because I'm in the light <laughs> I'm in the light I'm in the light I'm in the light I'm in the light and there are things in our lives that we go through that that drive us to that point and I said it some of us some of us show that we've been broken some of us continue to go on as if nothing has happened and we're suffering in silence. Suffering in silence. And we you know we looking good, we smelling good, we got all the you know we you know all these things, you know, we got all the props and stuff 
to make people think that our life is amazing. Hey, Auntie, what's good? You in the building. We got all this stuff to make it seem like my life is wonderful. You know, glory be to God. How are you doing? Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. And you know how we do. I'm just, I'm just way up on the mountain and ain't nothing touching me. But inside, I'm suffering. I want, I want to appease the people. I want to appease the masses. I want to play the role and look the part. But I am suffering. Times are changing. <laughs> the things that used to work don't work no more. The things that used to be, ain't they're not anymore. The new things are being reestablished. And we try and still to make it seem as if we got it all figured out when we really don't. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. We don't. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. I am... I, if it wasn't for God's grace and God's peace and God's love, I wouldn't be able to stand here. Me saying what I'm saying to help encourage you and me as well, it's not for me to say I have it all figured out. I know all the answers. Everything in my life is perfect. I, I, I got it all figured out. No, 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 and no. Uh, 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 no, no, <laughs> no. I'm just learning to submit. That's it. I'm learning to submit. And I used to be ashamed. I used to be afraid. I used to be embarrassed to, 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 to show people that, I am, that I'm fragile and I'm looking to submit because I wanted to be like everybody else. And once I was broken, I recognized that God has a purpose for me. That peace, that love, that acceptance, that 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 comforting that I'm seeking, like we are all seeking. I wanted. I I knew that I could reach it if I, all I had to do was submit to it. God spoke it to me, and we. You know how people say, "How God speak to you? How you speak to yourself? How how you speak to yourself? Hey, you hear it? It's just there." It ain't nothing, it's just there. And he's like, look, you just submit. That's all you got to do. And I'm like, oh, submit what? Submit with the choice that I've given you. I'm like, dang, you right. You right. What I've been doing. I've been trying to keep up with them. I've been trying to do what they want me to do. And, if, you know, I've been trying to follow them. And if I ain't following him, which is God, I'm following him, which is the enemy. He's still whispering stuff in my ear and I'm listening. Because I don't have the true understanding, I'm going to listen. And he's robbing me. He's killing me. He's, he, you know what I'm saying? He's destroying me and I'm allowing it. But I'm, I think that I have a purpose and I believe that there, there's more better for me. Yeah, I'm right, but I can't get to it if I don't submit to it. My mindset, the wholeness of my heart, the, con the content of my being, all, every, I mean, everything, everything. But people don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear the truth. I am broken. I am. I'm still working on me. I'm still working on trying to be a good father to the children that I have still in Omaha. There's still things that I'm dealing with on a daily basis. I'm trying to be a, a husband and a father here with my family. I'm, try, I'm trying to overcome my lust, my desires, my flesh through allowing God that's within me to center me within Christ to allow me to go forward within my purpose. That's it. It ain't about saying I got it all figured out. No, I just want to connect with other individuals that are sick and tired of being sick and tired so they can say, you know what? I ain't ashamed just like you. I got problems just like you. And I ain't ashamed to admit it. When we, when we, when we embrace that pain, we embrace that hurt. We embrace those mistakes that, that, um, that trauma, that hurt, that, uh, what's the word? It's a word. It's a word. It's a word. Not trauma, not hurt. Uh, what's the word? When we embrace Let's just use mistakes. When we embrace our mistakes, we embrace our mistakes. We make room for us to learn from them in order to get it right. There, without misery, there, without misery, there will never be happiness. 
without hate, without hate, there is not, there, there won't be joy in terms of us physically understanding without destruction and chaos. We won't understand and there will never be peace. And so I'm recognizing that my misery, my pain, my hurt, my suffering, my chaos is giving me the lessons I need to receive the peace, the joy, the freedom, the love, all of the things that are necessary. Amen. That's it, granted. Still, still working, still. You're still allowing that mind to be within you. See, we get caught up in believing that this is a one-time thing. What are you talking about? It's, there's seconds, out minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years. <laughs> so it only, do you only eat one time? You only ate that one time, that bottle, when, when you first came out your mama, and that was it? You ain't eat no more? No. We got to continue. And we get lazy. We think, oh, I got to keep doing this. Yes, you got to keep doing it. Yes, 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 yes. Do it take all that? It takes all of that and more. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm searching, I'm searching and I'm finding my way. And then the way that I'm finding my way is getting out of my way. I want that light to shine through me and not to me, for me to be in the way so the light can't shine in me. No, I got to get out of my way. I'm getting out of my way. I'm getting out of my way. And each and every day is, it is better than the day before. Even when I don't want to do it. Even when I don't feel like doing it. Even when I feel like giving up. <laughs> I feel like, I felt like giving up. Yes. 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 I, I feel like I done lost my passion. I feel like I done lost my my, my, you know, my, my fire. And it's like, where do I go from here, God? Where do I go from here? You know, I'm, I want to encourage individuals, but how do I stay encouraged myself? You know, I want to, I want to, I want to see that I'm making a difference. I want to see that I'm doing the right thing. I want to see that I'm helping other individuals. And I want to see that through, and I want to see that I'm helping myself as well. And sometimes I'll be, man, I don't want, I don't, I don't even think it's, it's worth it to continue. And he says, wait a minute now, what, what are you doing? He says, wait, so, so are you doing this for you? Are you doing this for fame, vain glory? Are you doing this for, or are you doing this because I purpose you to do it? And I'll be like, oh, you right. Oh, you right. You right. You right. Uh, you right. Let this mind. Yes, you right, Lord. Let this mind. What, what are you talking about? Because God doesn't turn off. We are the ones that we want them, then we don't want them. We want them, then we won't, don't want them. We want them to be how we want them to be versus God is on and everything. Look, look, look at the tree. The tree is still there. The tree ain't went nowhere. Ain't went nowhere. If, if you go outside and look at that tree, it ain't went nowhere unless somebody cut it down. Or excuse me, the earth ain't went nowhere. The atmosphere ain't went nowhere. The things that keep us have not went anywhere. God's love is still working. The sun is still shining. It is still shining. His love for us is still working on our behalf. And we are in our own way to the point that we break down and don't want to do anything in a meaningful way until we recognize that God's love for us is everywhere. And we just need to open our eyes and see <laughs> and submit to everything that he has purposed within us. Like the tree submits to doing its job. Like the bird submits to doing its job. Like the atmosphere is submitted to doing its job. Like the sun is submitted to doing its job. The stars are submitted to doing its job. Everything that God made is still doing what it's been doing since he created it, including us. But what makes us different from it is because we have a free mentality to choose. And we have not been given that free mentality to choose according to our selfishness. No, that is a part of his plan. So we can choose rightly and righteously. And we can, and he can say, all right, I didn't force you, but you seen what you seen and you recognize what you recognize through the mind that I have given you and you have done what what you're supposed to do. You're done what you're supposed to do. I love you too, Prophetess May. That's what's up. I need that love.
And so that's my purpose is to do what I'm supposed to do. Embrace my life's instincts. My life instinct is to be what God purposed me to be. My life instinct is to be what God purposed me to be. It is not for me to seek the pure, vain happiness of what I want. No, that is the bonus. The bonus is the blessing. In, in order for me to receive a blessing that I feel like that I am unworthy of receiving and I receive the blessing and I feel like I'm unworthy of receiving it, that is a miracle. <laughs> it's bigger than me. It's bigger than my pain. It's bigger than my doubts. It's bigger than my fears. It's bigger than anything that I can think of of a negative nature. And now I, I'm still learning to understand to allow God's love unconditionally to cleanse me and continually making me whole through the renewal of my mind. Now I can break out of that fear. I can break out of that doubt. I can allow love to do its job. I can allow faith to do its job. I can allow my purpose to do its job through what I'm submitted to. I'm submitted to it. Woo! Is, is, it, is it easy? No, 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 it's not easy. Is it rewarding and fulfilling? Yes, if I stay with it. Have I quit? Have I given up on myself? But get, guess what? I'm still here. I'm still here. Have I thought about suicide? Have I thought about cutting my life short? Have I thought about turning my back on my purpose? Have I thought about leaving my family? Have, I've done all that stuff. But yet I'm still here. Still. Still, still, still. And what holds me, I'm just talking about me. What holds me up is the mistakes what holds me up is the, the decisions that I made that weren't right and the, the residual effects of them in my life. And instead of me paying attention to that, I need to pay attention to the blessing, the miracle, the love, the peace, the joy, the forgiveness. <laughs> and submit to that and that alone. And to know that God is faithful. He is just. He said he will never leave you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Never, never, what? If he's willing to forgive me, if for all of these different transgressions, he's willing to forgive me for this, 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 and I can't even forgive myself for one thing. Ooh, I get frustrated. <laughs> I can't even forgive myself for just one mistake, and I got a whole bag full of them. <laughs> I can't even forgive myself for knocking this thing down. I'm, dang, Jonathan, you being silly. No, nope, it don't matter. God's love is still with me. It don't matter. See how that fell off of there? God is like this. Don't worry. It's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. But instead of me, instead of me submitting to that, I get in my own way and I want everything to be perfect the way I want it to be. No. I, so this is what I do. I'm, I'm saying, God, your love, your love has to do that. <laughs> because I can't do it. I can't get past it. I can't get over it. I can't forgive myself. I can't do it. But your love can. Your, your love is going to get me to where I need to go because I can't do it. And so when I've been broken down in my lowest, the lowest of my lowest, in the lowest of my lowest in life, and I'm just sitting stuck and saying, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't can't do it. No, I, I can't go no more. Can't go no further. God's love picks me up. I can't walk no further. God's love picks me up. But you know how it picks me up? I have to open my arms to allow it to grab me. <laughs> Woo! I, look, look, you, you, hey, look, you know how the babies do this? <laughs> the babies, you know how the babies do it? <laughs> and I say, God. <laughs> Uh, I was open my arms and he just whoop swoops me up. Cause before I would do it reluctantly. You know how God's love wants to capture me and keep you. And, and instead of me doing this, I'm stiff with it. Like, forget that. I ain't no reason to doing it. It still, it still has me. It still keeps me, but it, it, it I'm still low. <laughs> he's still protecting me. He's still, he's still providing for me. And I'm, but I'm still low. 
<laughs> I'm still low. I'm not. I got my head down. I can't see the sunshine and I can't see the life. I can't see the birds. I can't understand that the air is still fresh. I can't understand that my mind is in its right rightful place and I'm able to think, but I'm just I'm just low. I'm just low and I'm frustrated and I'm mad and I'm in my own way and I don't want to do nothing because, you know, I'm, I'm angry and I'm all of these things that are in the way. Until I recognize that I just need to look up. Just look up. Yeah, that stuff is there because, um, oh, that's what I was talking. That's what I was looking down at. I'm looking down at my, my shells. You know how you become broken and you, the pieces of me, the remnants of me, the past. And here's this mistake. Here's that mistake. Here's this mess up. Here's that mess up. Here's this. Here's this. Here's that. Here's this. I ain't never going to be able to get past this. I ain't never going to get beyond this. I ain't never going to get the relationship straight. I ain't never going to get the connection that I need. I ain't never going to get this. I ain't, this is what I'm looking at. And I'm saying, and I'm saying, yeah, I ain't never going to get it. And once I recognize that, I said, dang, I, I'm not going to get it, but I know who can get it. Matter of fact, I know who got it. And I'm looking down at stuff that I know that I ain't nothing I can do. But it's somebody that I know that can do something about it. And I'm just looking and I'm allow and I'm allowing this stuff to knock me down. And I'm allowing this stuff to knock my purpose off. Versus me submitting to it and looking up and saying, you know how you look up and you, you know what, God? No matter what. He says, trust, submit myself, turn from my wicked ways, here, direct my path, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do that. We're gonna try that. I know it's there. I know it's there, <laughs> but now my hands is up. Lord, take me. <laughs> Lord, take me. His love captures me and pulls me up. <laughs> but God, you're right. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm just submitting to what he has within me. That's it. And we get caught up in people that want to argue with us because they're broken, they're bitter, they're hurt, they're fearful. We get caught up in trying to convince people who are not willing to connect to the purpose that they have within them. We get caught up in trying to do things for people that are still going around, the, you know what I mean? We get caught up in trying to be what we think people want us to be instead of being what God purposed us to be. You have a purpose, you have meaning, you have worth. Your mistakes are just the, the, the poster board or the billboard to show that God's love is real. Yes, it is real. My mistakes, me being an, an adulterer, my mistakes, me being a horrible father, my mistakes is the poster board to show that God's love is real. I carry it. I carry it every day. I carry it every day. Carry, I hold on to that thing. But you know what? But you know what? Why I carry it, guess what? God, is, his love is carrying me. And the more that his love carries me, the more that I learn to let it go. Woo! I don't know, that helped somebody right there. I said all that stuff to say that right there. That was it. That was the one. We can close the curtains on that one. I'm still carrying the mistakes every day. I'm still, I'm still looking at it. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still, dang, I should have wish I would. I should have wish I would. I would have should have wish. And God's love is carrying me, and I'm and I'm allowing His love to carry me to the point where I'm saying, man, Jonathan, let that stuff go. Forgive yourself. He, God ain't holding it against you. Why are you holding this against yourself? Why are you holding this against them? Him, her, 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 him, and them. Why are you doing this? Let it go. Let it go. And continue to let God, and I'm like, all right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And, and, and every day, I'm dropping one thing, and then I'm dropping another thing. Let's be for, for real now, I'm dropping another thing. Because some people be thinking, oh, you received Christ in your heart, and now you're a believer, and everything is perfect. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. No, that's why it is a faith. That's why the the that's why it is a fight according to faith. Cause you must, you gotta, what, what, woo, what, what, woo, oh, whoa. It is a faith fight. Faith is according to your hope and belief. 
your hope and belief in your purpose that God has given you and the love that he holds. And so if I'm in my faith fight, that means I got to start hitting some blows back because I'm receiving a lot of blows, but I'm not throwing no blows back because I'm woe within my feelings, holding on to this. I can't fight if I'm holding on to something. I'm holding on to this and I'm holding on to this. How am I going to fight back? But I got to drop some things so I can fight back. And God love is holding me up. It's keeping me up. I ain't got knocked out. I got knocked down, but I ain't got knocked out. I done got knocked down, but I ain't got knocked out. And now I'm learning to put stuff down so I can fight. Mm -mm, you ain't going to take me out, Jack. Joker, no, you not. Uh -uh, no, you not. <laughs> no, you not. No, you not. Uh uh, depression. You gotta go. That's it. We ain't. We not. We we are not. We we're done. I broke up with depression. I'm still breaking up with fear. I done already uh, moved out of the house of doubt. Me and doubt was shacking. You know what I'm saying? You know discouragement. Uh, you. I done sent him back. Uh, sent him back to back to where he come from. You know what I'm saying? All of that, me, me, me talking down to myself, you, you got to go. You, you can't be here no more. We, me, me and you can't do nothing. You got to go. <laughs> we still own that. Yeah, we still own that. All of that. All of it. All of it. And I'm learning to be what God has purposed me to be versus continuing to be what I thought I should be according to what people want, what people accept, what people <laughs> like. Because, you know, people change, don't they? One day they want this, the next day they want that. So if they want this, I turn into this. As soon as I turn into this, they change and want that. I turn into that. They change and want this. Dang, I just got to that. Now you want this. Okay, let me change again. I change into this. Now they want that. And they just keep on going. It's like, I ain't got time for it. I'm done. I'm cool. I just want God's purpose for me. That's it. That's it. That is it. That's it. So allow him to hold you as you drop the pieces and you submit. I submit. We submit. And we commit to his purpose seriously. Seriously. So you can receive the benefits of the blessing, the miracle. I'm telling you it's there. It's it's there. I can I can remember when. I can I can remember when like it was yesterday. And when I say I remember when, I'm talking about when it was when I when I was low, when I was out, when I was full of doubt, full of fear, and not it's submitting according to my purpose. I can remember when, like it was yesterday, and I didn't believe that I would make it here today. And now that I can look back and see, man, I made it here today. Wow! So so it's real. It is real. It's real. Okay. So <laughs> where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where you want me to be? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you want to do it? Let's go. Let's go. I can remember I can remember being held back from because of embarrassment. I can remember being held back because of, you know, I, I don't want anybody to know. I can remember being held back because of shame. I can remember it. And now it's like, I don't man, whatever. You you can say what you want cuz you're going to say what you want. It is what it is. I'm, I'm, I talk about me just like you would talk about me. So I'm cool with it. It's all good. We good. We good. Hey, hey, it is what it is. Because it ain't, it ain't me. It's God who's keeping me. And if he's keeping me, I'm, you know what I'm saying? He keeping me? He's keeping me. He's preserving me. He's protecting me. He's providing for me. And I'm looking at all this stuff instead of looking at the love. Instead of being in the present. Instead of being in the present. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm here. I can feel, I can feel the wind blow. I can see the birds. I can see the sky. I can see the sun. I can feel that I am alive. I am still here. I'm in the present. 
And right now, I am here not because of what I have done, but because God has thought enough of me to make me and to keep me. And now I receive and unwrap that present and know that every moment counts. Every moment counts. And now I stop wasting my energy on thinking about the mistakes. I stop wasting my energy on trying to appease somebody. And I give it to God. I start giving it. I start focusing my energy on giving it to God. Whoo. Lord, take it. Lord, you can take it. Here, here's another one. I, at first, I was going to keep this in my back pocket. Here's another one. Lord, take it. Lord, take it. You do it. Lord, you do it. And once you start allowing that to happen, things will change. They're going to change, baby. And if you don't believe it, that's fine. Hold on to that stuff and just wait and watch. You wait and you watch. And you will see. Those that were holding on to it like you was holding on to it, they'll start releasing and you will, you will start to see a difference. You will start to see a newness. You will start to see, dang, what is they doing? The very thing that you need to be doing, but you refuse to, you know what I mean? And you were like, man, they was worse off than me. And look how, look how they doing. Look how good their life is going. And look, you know how we doing. We, we looky lose. We are looky lose. We're going to look and see, oh man, they getting blessed. How's they getting blessed? They did worse than me. How is he? How is he getting blessed? They, hey, they worse than me, and they this and they that, and we get the judging, and we get the pointing and looking, and we don't recognize that all we got to do is what they doing, and that's submit ourselves. And here you go, Lord. Here it is. Here it is. You take this. You take this. You take this. I'm, you know, yep. Every day I'm letting it go. Every day I'm, I'm letting this mind be in me, which is also in Christ Jesus. Let this, let come on. I'm, yep. I'm letting it go. Yep. Guide me. Take where I need to be. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go? <clears throat> yep. <laughs> we on, we on, man, we on, we on. We on. <laughs> well, I've been running my mouth, boy. Let me stop. I've been running my mouth. Golly, I can't stand it. God's love is real. It's pure and it's true. And no matter what you go through, no matter what you do, no matter what is happening in your life, no matter what, no matter what, he still loves you even now in spite of. And he has given you free will so you can choose him over those mistakes. He's given us free will so you can submit it to him over the, that doubt. So you can center your thinking, so you can center your understanding, so you can commit yourself to be given unto him as a vessel to use and utilize according to his purpose and plan. Mm -mm -mm. With, well, listen, with all your heart, lean not, don't, don't, don't fall back on your understanding. Because once we fall back onto our own, our, our, our own understanding, we, we, we put our heads down and we don't acknowledge him. We put our heads down and we don't acknowledge purpose. We put our heads down and we don't acknowledge his peace, his love, his favor, the, the miracles of his blessings. We put our heads down and we're looking at all this stuff. And it's distracting us from the purpose. Hmm. <laughs> so come on now. Come on now. Yeah, you, 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 you've been broken. Maybe you are in the broken season right now. He's breaking you to reach you. So you can break through and break out. Break out of the old man into the new man. Break out of the old version into the new version. The restored. The one that has been salvaged. The one that has been redeemed. He's calling you. He's calling me. He's calling us. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. You know how he's calling us? Because we woke up this morning. <laughs> he, we, we woke up this morning. There are individuals that didn't wake, they didn't wake up this morning. Mm -mm, they didn't. They, he, he brought them back. But we're still here. We're still here. And he's working on us. Matter of fact, he's working with us to allow us to submit so he can. <laughs> he's calling us. He, we still here, man, another day in, a, in another way. His love his, it will not leave you. It won't forsake you. We're the ones that get in our own way. 
We are the ones, we're the ones that want to trust in man and trust in things instead of just submitting ourselves to really, truly, purely trusting God. I just, Lord, I, and, I, and that's, that is what I, I, I used to want to, my prayers used to be about stuff and people forgiving me and me forgiving myself. And I'm learning to say, God, I just want to trust in you. Because if I trust in you, all of these other things will be worked out. If I lean not to my own understanding in all of my ways, Lord, I just want to acknowledge you. You're going to work all of it out. I can't reach this far that way. I can't reach this far this way. I can't reach this far that way or this way, but you can. Yes, you can. And you let me know that you have already given me an expected end. That means something that's coming to me that I know I need, that I know I'm looking for, that I know I can't be without in an expected end. What? I need to get there then. No matter what. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no matter what, baby. Hey, look, it's stuff in the way. It's in the way. But guess what? I'm submitting my whole heart to God to get it out of the way. I've been trying to move it out of the way. I've been trying to do this. I've been trying to do that. I've been trying to submit myself. I've been sacrificing my time. I've been showing up. I've been trying to show out. I've been trying to do all of this stuff. And it's still not enough. It's still not enough because I'm not submitting and I'm not, I'm not submitting myself wholeheartedly. I'm still leaning to my own understanding, but no, in all of my ways, I must acknowledge him. So Lord, it's up to you. Lord, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, you do it and I'm submitting to it. I may not like it. I may not want it. I may not be used to it. It may not be something that I agree with, but God, this is what you have for me. Then this is what it's going to be. This is what it is. I don't want it. The renewing of my mind. I don't agree with it. The renewing of my mind. I don't. This ain't my style. The renewing of my mind. <sighs> Expect it in. I don't want it. I renew my mind. I submit to it. I receive that respect. Expect it in. Oh, wow. I didn't know that this was going to happen. Expect it in. Oh, wow. God, where did this come from? Expect it in. Oh, my goodness, God. Why did you think enough of me? I didn't think I deserved it. Expect it in. And then you can look back and say, whoo, I almost gave up. I almost quit. I almost threw in the towel. And I would have missed this. <laughs> Expect it in. Yeah, I'm singing that song. No matter what you go through, ooh, just remember. <laughs> it's not yours. The battle's not yours. It's the Lord's. It ain't yours. It's it's not yours. You it, it, listen, you'll be fighting for you'll be fighting to you'll be fighting fighting and dying. Dying and fighting versus giving it to him. You give it to him. You we fight the good fight of faith. The good fight of faith allows us to continue to submit. But in terms of us taking this fight and beating it, no, no, we don't, no, no, I'm submitting to him. And when I submit to him, I'm fighting the good fight of faith to stay submitted and committed to him. That is why I'm fighting with faith and belief, hope, substance, love. I'm fighting to stay committed so he can fight for me to allow me to stay within his purpose, his plan, and allow me to be called up. <laughs> you dig? Yeah, we still going to do it. We ain't going to quit. You dig? We going to stay on it. I went for a long time today. I ain't going to front. I just, I really wanted to articulate. You got to fight. That's right, sis. That's right. We, we got to fight. I'm telling you, we we're that's what he has given us, that faith to just go ahead and knock that stuff out and to knock ourselves out of the way. Watch out. Bow, bow, move. Uh -uh, no, you're not. Bow, bow. Watch out. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh -uh, no, to move ourselves out of the way. And to keep to keep us in submission to him. Truly, if we truly love God the way we say we love God, if we truly are committed to God the way we say we are committed to God, then we must truly submit ourselves according to him and not according to us.
And when we com when we commit to us, we we find ourselves in this broken place. When we commit to us, we find ourselves in this in this empty with this emptiness. We find ourselves with so many people around us, so much love around us. We still find ourselves unable to reach that love. But when we submit, when we submit to him, oh, what? When we submit to ourselves, mm -mm. but when we submit to him, what is submitted to him? Because people think God is a person. God is the decisions to do right. God is loving unconditionally. God is making sure that I do what I'm purposed to do. Period. God ain't no person. God is everything. 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 So I'm submitting myself to everything according to the purpose that's, that has been placed in me. It's going to get rough. It's going to get tough. But he is challenging that faith that we say we have. He is challenging that love that he said that we say we have. He is challenging the commitment of, 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 of our submission that we say we want to submit for. I'm submitting, Lord. OK, let me see if you for real. Let me see if you for real. Let's see what you're talking about. I know the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end. Let me say where you where you fit is you is you playing? You got ulterior motives? What's going on? Let's let's see what let's see what you really about. Is you just saying that just to say it to the people to look good? Or you really do you really mean it? Am I am I the center of your life? Or am I am I just your ATM card? I'm just your little benefit package when it when it, you know what I'm saying? When it benefits you. No. Nah, well, I ain't I can't answer that. You know what I'm saying? I can't all I know is, you know what, Lord, I, I want what you have for me instead of the things that I want to get from you. You know, we want we want to get things from God. We want the 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 prosperity and all of the health. And we want all of the God do all of this for us. No, God, I want I want what you want me to have. And I want to submit to you in order to receive what you have for me. Yeah, I have a desire in my heart, but I want to delight in your ways. <laughs> Woo. I want to delight in your ways. Period. Boop. <laughs> Man, I'm done. I ain't even gonna hold y'all up no more. This is Friday. I appreciate y'all. We uh, we appreciate y'all for tuning in to Elite. Check this out this morning. Boom, boom, boom. You got what it takes. That broken place is the beginning of your healing. That broken place is the beginning of your submission. That broken place is the beginning of you committing to what God has purposed you to commit to so you can activate what is in you. His love is real. His grace is real. His mercy is real. His peace is real. Everything that you desire to have in your life, it is real and it is reachable. It is attainable. You and I, we must submit in order to connect with the spiritual portion of what he has for us to activate us, to be able to sustain, you know, that continuing submission. We got it. 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 You got it. I got it. He gave it to us. We're going to use it until our day comes, until our moment comes, until our time comes to be reunited with him back to the source. We're going to do it. We people, people, we, we need each other. I'm telling you, we need it. We're going through so much and so many people are breaking down because we are so afraid and ashamed to say what is really going on, what we're really dealing with. And through the testimony, <laughs> through our testimony and through our confession, confession, our confession, Lord, this is what I'm dealing with. Lord, this is what I'm going through. Lord, I need you. I need help. I need, I need, I need. And he's sending stuff our way. And guess what we do? Deny, 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 deny. Because we don't want to be seen as weak. We don't want to be seen as whatever we think that is negative in the minds of others. We don't want to be seen as that. But this is why I submit to God's ways because I want to do what God has pur purposed me to do. And whatever he gives to me, whether it be a purpose, an, a person, an understanding, whatever, and I, whatever it is that he gives to me, I, am, I want to be ready to utilize it in order to go forward instead of staying in that pretending I'm okay stage. I'm okay when I know I'm really not. 
I want to get better. <laughs> Period. Dot com. <laughs> All right, y'all. We done. I appreciate y'all. We we thank you. We appreciate you. Go go. Hey, listen. Tell somebody. Let somebody know. Maybe you're connected to somebody. Maybe you you have coming out of that broken place. Maybe you're not even in that broken place. But maybe you know somebody that is dealing with something and they can't get out of their way. And let them know that. Listen. This is the opportunity that God is. God wants to reach you. He's using this to reach you. Listen. You can't go. Your back is against the wall. Only thing that you can do is now make the right choices. And now this is the prime time for you to do that. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. And if it's if it's you and you feel like yourself are broken inside and you're like, man, you know, I've been trying to keep it together. That is fine. Now you can submit. You can submit and make that transition to actually be whole. Instead of pretending you whole, you can actually be whole. Been there, done that. Now I'm understanding. So listen, you have what it takes. That broken place, you have become broken so you can become broken in so you can break through in order to break out and be exactly what God purposed you to be. He's speaking right to you and to me right now. He's letting us know that all of that stuff don't matter. He can take care of it. He's letting us know that his love is real. He's letting us know that he loves us enough and he's never going to leave us or forsake us. He's letting us know all you have to do is take what I have for you and, and actually submit to it. He's letting us know. And sometimes we get in our own way. Sometimes we get stubborn. We get selfish. We get prideful. But it's okay. He still loves us anyway. And his love is going to break through all of that to reach us. Now we must break through all of that to reach him with our submission. Yeah. That's it. Hey, have a beautiful and blessed day. We appreciate you. We thank you. I done held y'all on this month for the gang. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. It is going to be what it's going to be. Can't do this without you. Thank you for sharing our content and joining the 52 Club. Thank you for all of you that are that have sown seeds and, and, and continue to sow seeds with us. We, I'm telling you, we can't thank you enough. We want to let you know we can't do this without you. We appreciate you uh, for, for not only sharing your seeds or your monetary gifts, but sharing your time and and. and, and connecting with us you can be anywhere on this on this platform in terms of social media you can be any doing anything you can be doing what you're supposed to do at work you can be doing anything but you take the time to connect with us we appreciate you we appreciate you we appreciate you and we just thank god for you and we pray that we continue to do what we're supposed to do according to our purpose by embracing life's instincts to evolve in a meaningful way we're evolving we're, we're coming better and better at better at submitting our Ourselves. And we're changing these oh, that old mindset to continue to renew the mind that we need to continue to change according to salvation, redemption, and restoration. He's here for us. He's here for us. Now that he's here for us, let's submit to him so we can be here for ourselves and to and each other and each other. So have a beautiful day. We're gonna pray. Get on out of here. Like we do, my little light done went out, man. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you, Father God, for another day. We thank you for purpose. We thank you for peace. We thank you for understanding. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that you forgive us for everything we've done uh, against uh, each other, against someone else, against our purpose, against you, Father God. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you cleanse us and complete us in terms of making us whole, Father God, and allowing us to stand, Father God, in the righteousness, in the way of righteousness, Father God, and to submitting uh, through submitting ourselves to you in a meaningful way. Thank you for keeping us, loving us, protecting us, and providing for us thus far. And as you continue to do that, to acknowledge, to excuse me to ignite our purpose. We just thank you. We thank you. We bless you. We thank you right now, Father God, for the purpose that you have within us, Father God. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the peace. We thank you, Father God, for loving us enough, Father God, to allow us to reach a point where we become broken to the point where we must submit to you, Father God, and we have no other way but to make a decision. We pray right now that we activate, Father God, the power of our choice to submit to you in a meaningful way and allow that hope to develop belief and allow that belief, belief to develop faith, Father God, to move, Father God, in your direction in a meaningful way. 
We pray right now, Father God, for any individual that may have lost a loved one, Father God, maybe on this morning, this week, Father God, this month, this year, this lifetime. We pray right now, Father God, that you will keep them. We pray that your spirit will protect them and give them, Father God, everything that they need that we cannot articulate according to the morning process. We thank you for your healing virtues, Father God, and all that you possess within your love. We speak that healing right now, Father God. We speak the generational curses to be broken. We speak the submission. We speak, Father God, all the things that we need, Father God, according to our purpose. We speak it right now in the name of Jesus, and we pray that your spirit goes, Father God, and before us to, to reach the areas that we can't understand or, or articulate that we don't know about for each individual that may be on the live feed, that may be that may have watched the video, Father God, that may not even know that we exist in this city, this state, this region this country, this world. We thank you right now, Father God, for doing what you've always been doing, Father God, and, and never changing and always, Father God, being consistent of thinking of us and keeping us and allowing us to stay right within the lane of our purpose as we submit in a meaningful way to you. We pray for each other. We pray, Father God, for healing. We thank you, Father God, for peace. We thank you for understanding. We thank you, Father God, for any individual, Father God, that may have um, spoken the the affirmation, the salvation affirmation that is on our page that has received your son, Jesus Christ, in a meaningful way. We thank you and pray a special prayer that you continue to activate these, your people, Father God, that maybe said it with us or maybe said it with other believers, Father God. And they have received. We pray right now that those that are searching and, and yearning for a connection with you to be whole, to be at peace and to be, uh, be full of love, Father God. We pray that the convictions of their heart, Father God, will blare out and they will listen and understand to, to, to allow that to guide them, Father God, directly to you, Father God. Allow every aspect, Father God, in life to happen to allow them to make the decision to commit to you according to those co convictions. We thank Thank you. Continue to keep us, protect us, allow this day to be an amazing day as we move forward in an amazing way according to our purpose. Protect us over this weekend and until we meet again on Monday to continue to do what you have purposed to do, us to do, we just pray right now, Father God, that you continue to do, Father God, what you do as we continue to submit to, to our purpose, to submit to our understanding and to operate in love within ourselves and within with each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen man i went i was going i ran my mouth dad dad dog it it's all good it's all love we appreciate you i didn't talk so much my little light done went out and now it had a little charge on it look at that it done went out it, it's, it's dead it's all good though we appreciate you we love you have an amazing day move mm, 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 mouth be so dry man i tell you Mouth be dry in my running my mouth, running it. I just pray that God's God's love, you'll recognize God's love, and you'll continue to operate according to your the purpose that He has within you, and you'll continue to submit in a meaningful way, in order to embrace life's instincts to evolve, as we continue to learn, to grow, and to advance in a meaningful way, each and every moment of each and every day that He allows us to be here. Hey, don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. <laughs> God's love is here and it's real. Have a beautiful day. Have an amazing weekend. We'll see you on Monday if the Lord says the same. We love you. Peace.